Okay, what's going on folks? Mr. Brunsvold here. Uh, our goals for today is going to be that you can convert using the metric system. So if you already know how to do that, awesome. Uh, this is going to be really easy. If you don't, no worries. Um, just watch the lesson and you should understand. Um, okay, so agenda for today. Watch the lesson on converting using the metric system and take notes. Um, and then you're going to complete the metric conversion practice on Schoology. Uh, so what should you be doing right now? You should find your notebook. You should watch the lesson on converting using the metric system. And then you should take notes while you're watching the lesson. And then what should that look like in your notebook? Um, well, today's, uh, we're gonna, this is unit one. The topic is going to be metric unit conversion. And today's date is 923. Um, and so then our essential question for this lesson, why do we need to learn the metric system? Um, well, it, the, we use the metric system to measure in science, uh, and that's why you're going to need to learn it. Um, you know, here in America, we typically measure things using the English system instead of the metric system, and so for the English system, um, you know, for example, we measure things in feet and miles. Well, it's kind of confusing to convert from feet to miles because it's not like a normal number that you use for the conversion. There's 5,280 feet in a mile. Uh, it's a lot easier to convert from meters to kilometers in the metric system. It's just a thousand. There's a thousand meters in a kilometer. Um, and so uh, that's why we use those units in science and that's why you're going to need to know them because this is a science class. Okay, what's going on folks? Mr. Brunswold here. Um, so first we're going to go over the base units for the metric system. So what do I mean by base unit? Well, these are the units that we make all our other units from uh, in the metric system. Uh, and so the first one is a meter. Meter is used to measure length. It's the distance between two things. It's abbreviated with a lowercase m. Second unit is a liter. Um, a liter is used to measure volume and how much space something takes up. Um, a liter is abbreviated with a capital L. Next up is a gram. Gram is used to measure mass, how much stuff something has in it, um, and that's abbreviated with a lowercase g. Uh, the base unit for time is second. Uh, it measures time, right, so how long it takes for stuff to happen. Uh, and then the abbreviation uh, is a lowercase s. Okay, uh, so a quick little history lesson here. Uh, uh, where do all, did all these units come from? So the meter, that is one ten millionth of the distance from the equator to the North Pole. So if you take the distance from the equator all the way up to the North Pole, and then you cut that distance into 10 million equal sized parts, you've got yourself a meter. All right, next up is a liter. Um, a liter is the volume of a cube with sides one-tenth of a meter long. So remember that a meter, that's one ten millionth of the way from the equator to the North Pole. And so then if you take that distance and then you cut it um, into tenths, and then you make a cube with side lengths of those distance, you've got yourself a liter, and that's the base unit for volume. Next up, if you take a liter and cut that into 100 equal sized parts. Um, and then you take that volume and you fill it up with water. That's where the base unit for a gram was. So they took one 100, sorry, uh, take that back. It's 1,000 equal parts. So they took one 1,000th of a liter um, and then they filled it with water and then they found the mass and they said that this is going to be our base unit for mass, and they called it the gram. And then last up is time. Uh, the base unit for time is a second, and so they derived that from the distance it took for the Earth to go around the sun. Um, that's obviously a year. Um, and so what they did with that is they divided that by 365.25, uh, 
That's the number of days in a year. And then they took that and they divided it by 24. Number of hours in a day. They divided that by 60. Number of minutes in an hour. Then they divided that by 60. Number of seconds in a minute. Um, okay, so that's where the base units all came from. That's how they derived them, at least originally. They don't do it that way now. Okay, and so then um, uh, these are, uh, uh, this page is gonna be about the prefixes. So, so just a quick um, terminology. A prefix is a word or letter that goes in front of another word or letter. So we have our base units, meters, liters, and grams. And so here's just, this table just shows the example of all the different prefix that we could put on meters, liters, and grams. So you can have um, for example, a kilometer, that means 1,000 meters, a hectometer, uh, that means 100 meters, decameter is 10 meters, meter is a meter, so we call this a base unit, decimeter is one-tenth of a meter, centimeter is one one-hundredth of a meter, a millimeter is one one-thousandth of a meter. Um, and then you can do the same thing with liters and grams. Um, so for example, a hectogram is 100 grams. Um, a deciliter is one tenth of a liter. Um, okay. Um, so a great way to remember the order uh, is using this mnemonic device. A mnemonic device is just like a phrase that'll help you remember something. So the mnemonic device is King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Uh, kilo, hecta, deca, unit, deci, centi, milli. Okay, so let's go through some examples of how we convert with the metric system. Um, so uh, we always start by identifying the prefix. Um, so the pre um we can tell that the units here are grams because that's always what comes at the end. So this one's in grams, this one's in grams. So the prefixes, we're starting with 0 0.01234 decagrams, right? And we're gonna convert that to decigrams. So I highlighted the starting point in green, like go. So we're gonna start here and then we're gonna end here. So then the first thing we're gonna do is count how many spaces those two are away from each other. One space, two space. And that tells me how many places I'm gonna move the decimal. One place, two place. So the decimal is gonna end up in between the one and the two. So that's gonna equal 0 0.012 sorry, 0, 0, 001 point two three four decigrams but it looks weird with the zeros in front and in fact you guys probably heard me I made a mistake while I was saying it just because it looks so weird so we're gonna get rid of those zeros that are in front of the one and we should end up with one point two three four decigrams okay next we're gonna convert twelve point one zero five millimeters into meters. So we're going to start off the same way. We're going to identify what the prefixes are. This one is just M, right? Because we can tell that we're measuring in meters. because That's what comes at the end. So our prefix for this one is M. This one doesn't have a prefix. Well, what do we do with that? I mean, this one's nice and easy. It's going to be right here, M. Because this one doesn't have a prefix, that means we end up at unit. So remember that the middle of this is just your base units. And so base units means units with no prefix. And so then we're going to convert from meters, sorry, from millimeters to our base units. So then we're going to move one, two, three spots. And then we'll do the same thing with the decimal place. One, two, three spots. Now, we didn't actually have three spots to move the decimal. After the second spot, we were in front of the one. So we're going to add a couple zeros, and that will tell us where we're moving to. And so we added two zeros, and it'll end up right in between them. And so our final answer should be 0 
0.012105 meters. Next, we're going to, you guys should uh, practice converting 900,000 centimeters to kilometers, 0 0.234 kilograms to decigrams, and you're going to convert 75,492 milliliters to hectoliters. So go ahead, pause the video, take some time to practice that. Then in a minute here, we're going to go over those answers. Okay, um, so let's take a look at the answers. Well, we're going to take 9,000 centimeters and convert that to kilometers. So we got to move as we go from centimeters to kilometers. That's one, two, three, four, five spots. So we're going to take our decimal, which would have been right here, and we're going to move one, two, three, four, five spots, and we'll end up with an answer of 9.00000 kilometers. Then we're going to convert 0 0.234 kilograms to decigrams. So we're going to move the decimal one, two, three, four spots. Um, and so that came because, sorry, I kind of got out of order there. Kilogram is one, two, three, four spots from decigram. So we went from K to D. So then we're going to move this one, two, three, four spots. And so then our final answer will be 234 decigrams. Got rid of the zero at the front and we didn't need to say the decimal because it was after our last number. Last up we're going to convert, convert 75,492 milliliters to hectoliters. Um, and so as we go from milliliters to hectoliters, that's one, two, three, four, five spots. So then as we move the decimal, we're going to move it one, two, three, four, five places. And so it'll end up right in front of the seven. That's why we wrote it right there. We just add a zero as a placeholder. So 0 0.75492 hectoliters. If you have any questions about this, contact me. I can give you some help. Uh, what should you be doing right now? Open up the metric conversion practice assignment and notability. Complete that assignment and then submit the assignment to Schoology.